Okay, this is probably a super weird place to start this vlog, but whatever. So I am actually, right now I'm filming something, like I want to do just like a cute little uh, Instagram video, but I thought since like on the vlog I would just explain like why I'm actually using stuff because this stuff has been like crucial lately. So I'm using the Roots Hair Treatment from Lush. Um, I love this stuff, so I know I haven't made any videos, um, I really shouldn't be talking like this, but I know I haven't made a lot of videos lately because I have been very tired, I've been very tired because I've been very pregnant, so I did make a small announcement on Instagram, so if you don't follow me there, like, that's the first place you're going to see everything, know everything, I've just been so tired and so sick, I've been literally throwing up so aggressively that I've been popping like blood vessels in my face like around my eyes so yeah and I've been getting crazy acne not really on my face or my body or anything but crazy acne on my scalp so I use the roots treatment because it has a fresh mint infusion infusion a citric acid honey peppermint oil spearmint oil grapefruit oil sweet orange oil also has nettle absolute and neroli. All the first few things that I named were are like great for acne and it has that like super cooling clean feeling and it like really opens everything up and then I've been using a tea tree shampoo and conditioner. So like I feel like this breaks through everything, opens up my scalp, cleans it, kind of like a mask. It has moisturizing properties to it so I put it on my whole head, like on all my hair. Cute. But it gives that like cool like peppermint fresh feel to the scalp and then I rinse my hair and like really wash like scrub my scalp with a tea tree shampoo and tea tree conditioner and then I recently um, purchased a bunch of these Freeman feeling beautiful masks I used to use that peel off cucumber one like in high school way back in the day since I've been trying to get back into cruelty free skincare or just get into it in general and cruelty free um makeup I kind of rediscovered these and these are cruelty free and I thought these were really interesting so I picked up like four or five and I really really love this one this is the rejuvenating cucumber and pink salt clay mask this one also has that like cooling feeling to it and the pink salt will like scrub which I always need I have super dry flaky skin so this is one thing I really don't the, the Burt's Bee stuff, it says no animal testing. I'm not really sure if it counts as cruelty free. I haven't gotten like a clear answer really. Um, I'll have to do a little bit more research, but I'm going to actually go take a little soak right now. The new house, so if you didn't see my Instagram, the same time I announced my pregnancy, I announced that Nathan and I are moving. We bought a house and we're moving to that house. It's like a brand new brand spanking new house on an acre of land so we're going to be moving soon like the middle of june and uh where was i even going with that what where was i honestly going with that anyway maybe i was still getting oh that's what i was going to say so the new house doesn't have any bathtubs it's two and a half baths and both of the full baths have um, like the full bathrooms just have walk-in showers so I have to use up all of my bath bombs before we move so I have like our closing date is June 10th so I probably have about like three weeks um, ish to use up all my bath bombs and I have quite a few I have tons of bubble bars bath oils bath bombs I gotta use them up so instead of like showering right now like I would just wait 20 minutes and then shower I'm gonna actually go have a little soak it's like 2 p.m. it's 2 15 on a Friday afternoon um, I just didn't have work today um, so I've been sleeping and I decided like hey probably time to film I took enough time off I'm starting to get I'm like at the end of my first trimester so I'm starting to get some more energy back so I'm going to get back into filming. Do not worry. The makeup videos are not going to stop. And I am going to start vlogging my pregnancy. So trust me, I'm getting back into the videos. I was just sick every single day for like three weeks and really, really tired even on good days. So 
<sighs> let's go have a little soak. I'm super excited. And I think tonight we're going on a date to Target, which I'm very excited about. Um, cause I want to see if the Target has Earth Mama. I want like the Earth Mama prenatal stuff cause I've been, you know, need to start moving that direction. I have some stuff from Lush, but they don't have everything that I need. So I've been kind of just searching around. I want to look at the Earth Mama stuff and they say that it's at Target. So we're going to go to Target so I can look around. I might buy some makeup. Probably will. I'm going to get a coffee beach. I'm very excited. And the Target that we drive to in the city has a Red Robin close to it. So sounding really good. I don't know if Nathan wants to eat out, but <laughs> Red Robin sounds really good. So anyway, I'm gonna go take a bath now. I love you. I love you. Look at my sweet angel. You would swear this is his bed. Is this your bed? Yeah, is this, is this Levi's bed? She, mm hmm. Yep, it's my bed. Mm hmm. Now let's not ignore the <laughs> bark things over there, okay? <laughs> and the Gatorade bottle. So I have these on. These are the. Burt's Bees Rejuvenating Eye Masks and like I thought at first that they were like dried out because you're used to those like really wet kind of sheet masks like any sheet mask really in there just like a really thin oil on there it's actually kind of interesting so I guess we'll see how that goes. I was gonna tell that fun story about so okay I know you don't understand, like care about any of this really but um, I haven't made a video like talking about my pregnancy yet but I want to tell the story of the the pharmacist who asked me what my prescription was for you remember when I told you that <sighs> right oh God I'm talking to you oh <laughs> Do you remember when I told you that? No. Oh my god, okay, well you get to hear the story too then. So, I go to the doctor for my freaking 12 week appointment, everything's great except I have a yeast infection. Sick. Super normal for pregnancy, but whatever. And then I go, okay, so, hey, if you're not a military brat, you don't really understand this, but I go on base for, like, to go to the hospital, and everything is like, it's all shaky because I'm bouncing around. Everything is like they scan your your ID for everything. So I literally leave my appointment, walk down the hall to the pharmacy stand, and it's an actual person that checks you in. I hand him my thing, he scans it, and he was like, um, what are you here for? And I was like, medicine. And he was like, Yeah, but what's like what's the prescription? What's it for? And I was like, <laughs> None of your friggin' business. No, I didn't say it like that. <laughs> Imagine. No, I was like, uh, that's confidential, I'm pretty sure. And he was like, oh, I'm just asking because it's not, like, here. It's not popping up on the computer. And I was like, that is not what you ask when their freaking medication is not popping up on the thing. But whatever. I was just like, well, I was literally just at my appointment. I left and I, oh, that's right. <sighs> I left my appointment and, like, took 30 seconds to walk down here so can I just check in like it'll probably be there by the time they call me up or whatever because that guy just checks you in and then like somebody else checks you in for like actually getting your medicine so he then he was just like oh yeah yeah I'll just do that <sighs> why did you ask me what vagina cream I'm here for that is confident everybody gets yeast infections whatever it's super normal but like don't be asking about what creams I may or may not be here for. <laughs> God, how freaking crazy. Do you have any fun stories from work? See any cool animals? 
<laughs> oh, it's gonna be really fun to have you in vlogs. No. <laughs> I know, since you're not gonna talk and you don't wanna be on camera. Super fun. Mm -hmm. Wow, I look very pale. I should've got a picture before we left of my makeup. Feel it though? No. Okay, well, how are we gonna let him know? Get closer so I can look at it. <laughs> oh no, that is really not good. So he's just gonna keep going like that until it explodes or starts. So, it's super late on Sunday. Levi's coming to be a snipperoonie. <laughs> Freaking nosy. Ew, Levi. Oh, God. Ew. Oh, wait. Go over there. Go. Go. Excuse me. Thank you. No, no, no. Wrong. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> That's not okay. Hello. They can't see me. Okay. Go over there. Go over there. Lay down. Lay down, Levi. Lay down. No, stop it. Stop right there. Lay down. <laughs> Lay down. And don't army crawl closer. Okay. So, we went to dinner. We went to Target and Walmart and Academy. Don't have any of that footage. It's all corrupted. I thought this whole, I thought it was Saturday until about 6.30. I hate uploading my videos as late as I'm going to upload this one. But whatever. Also, sorry I talked about a yeast infection. Hopefully nobody cares. But he just army crawled. He's right here now. Um, but anyway, I thought I would at least, at least show you what I got from the store. It was like a haul or something. But uh, is this the worst vlog ever? I think it is. Anyway, so where's that? <gasps> where's my little outfit that I freaking got? Oh my gosh. hung it up like a responsible person okay so I got this little number from Academy it's like a short um, tank top with a cross in the back like the tank top crosses in the back and it has like black can you see this boy army crawling to see this really cute I think it'll grow with me nicely while I'm pregnant and then it'll still look okay after uh, which is kind of why I got it so I really want pregnancy clothes <laughs> that doesn't look like pregnancy clothes. He's licking the bottom of my foot. Okay. So, I think that'll look okay, at least until I'm, like, huge. Um, <clears throat> it'll, it's really loose already. And it's really easily stretchy. Like, the waistband's super easy stretchy. So, I think it'll grow nicely. Hello, little boy. Little boy. Okay. I went to Target. I got the Medela... Tender Care Hydra Gel Reusable Nipple Pads. Um, they're like soothing pads. I'm sorry if y'all hate this pregnancy stuff, but I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Pregnancy is not all like rainbows and sunshine like people on Instagram try to make you think. My nipples are already super chafy and like they hurt, like they're dry. So I got these. Levi, if you don't. And then I actually saw these nipple, like, hot and cold packs. Like, you can either put it in the, um, like, in the microwave or have it, like, frozen to, like, soothe your boobs. I should have got them. Like, at first I was like, well, when we were there, I was kind of just like, oh, I don't really need that. Like, maybe when I'm breastfeeding. But then this morning I was like, oh, you know what would feel so good if I could ice my nipples right now? Anyway, so I got those. So I think I mentioned earlier in this video how I've been getting crazy head acne. So I got the Love Beauty and Planet Tea Tree and Vetivert Radical Refresher Shampoo and Conditioner. Okay, first of all, the packaging. Oh, you want to smell it? Oh. The packaging, super cute, cruelty-free. They're like reasonably, not reasonably, they're um, responsibly sourced, mostly organic, it's like natural, free of dyes, um, no parabens, no silicones, which is good too. 
and they're vegan so that is just like all around a win-win i was using the organics tea tree like extra strength shampoo and while it is it's good and fine they're practically the same price and this one is cruelty free and i didn't realize um, I got organics because I thought they were cruelty free because they were in the past. I wasn't aware that they lost their cruelty free status. That's bad on me. I'm just not going to repurchase those. So I would encourage you to get the Love Beauty and Planet ones because they're like literally the same price. And this one's cruelty free. So, yes. I want to smell it. And then I haven't been getting really bad body acne. Oh, and I think I was looking online and I think there's like a scalp treatment too. I could be wrong, but it wasn't at Target, but that's okay. Um, so that I haven't been getting the worst body acne. Levi, <laughs> you're such a drama. But I thought I should try this anyway. I've been getting like a tiny, tiny bit and I thought it would just be good to have this on deck if in case it starts getting really bad. So I got again, excuse me, Love Beauty and Planet Tea Tree and Vetiver Daily Detox Body Wash. Yeah, it says for purifying renewal and acts of love for our planet. How cute. And oh my God, the packaging, the freaking packaging for all of these is so cute. I love it so and they had lots of awesome like they had a was it turmeric and or vanilla and tonka and then like they had a turmeric one I honestly want to try every single flavor of these and I probably will eventually get to that I'm just trying I'm literally hauling right now but I'm trying not to buy too much before we move because the less stuff you have the less you have to move and I can freaking buy this stuff in three weeks when I actually run out, I have so many body washes. I'm a body wash hoarder. I love switching up my body washes all the time. So I'll buy like 10 at a time and have 10 in the shower at all times. Just in case that day I don't feel like smelling like roses, I feel like smelling like turmeric latte. So that's just, that's just me. I didn't really see anything... Um, at Target as far as like makeup goes and I uh, I've really been interested in the new pixie skincare but I don't know if pixie's cruelty free um, I also am trying not to buy stuff I don't need more skincare again it's like I'll have like five moisturizers and you just don't need it like yeah they're, like, they're all good and I like all five of them but just pick one you know it's so extra <laughs> but, um but yeah, I have been really, really interested in the new e.l.f. skincare. So again, once we move, I'll probably work my way towards getting those because I'll eventually give in. Levi, can you? No, no, no. He's sniffing my nipple pads. <laughs> Go away. Go over there and lay down. <clears throat> Go lay down. Lay down. Thank you, good boy. Okay, so what I did get excited about, I went to a Walmart that I don't normally go to. I saw this huge, okay, first of all, this Walmart, huge makeup section. It's literally the only Walmart I want to go to for makeup. He set his head on my knee. What a freaking angel. Um, it's literally the only Walmart I want to go to for makeup at all ever anymore. It had such an amazing, huge section of makeup, like more NYX makeup than like even the Ulta's I've been to. Like crazy so what I saw was profusion cosmetics and I feel like I've heard that name before but I haven't like seen any reviews or anything but I looked and it's cruelty free and all of it's like under ten dollars so I was like absolutely I tried not to go too crazy I only got four things but these four things are really fun and I think I can make some really cute videos and like really cute Instagram videos so I'm very excited so I got this pro, I feel like I, the one thing I should have gotten was all of the lip kits. There was only three and I picked one, but I am trying not to overdo it. And this is the only color I thought that I didn't have like a dupe for. Like the other two, I feel like I already had lipsticks that look like that. So I'm trying not to repurchase those, but this, I don't have any lipsticks that look like this. So yeah, it's like a super cute pink color. This is in the shade Lust. How freaking cute. And perfect color for like spring and summer. Especially with this. Oh my gosh. Pink Nudes Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. I just thought 
I don't know how well you can see, but I just thought, oh, so, there's like a reflection, but so freaking cute together for like spring and summer. I could do the cutest videos, like a three looks one palette, like so freaking cute. And I thought that these, I wonder if I can open this. I think $4. These are $5. So I got two of them. I got this one and then I got the golden nudes eyeshadow it's hard to see let me like actually open them golden nudes oh my goodness how freaking cute is that i feel like it's not even picking up how cute they are in person oh my gosh looks so cute i can't wait to freaking do videos well hopefully they're good i've never tried any profusion makeup i've never like i feel like i've heard the name profusion but I can't remember like ever seeing anyone like use it or be like, oh yeah, like profusion so good or something like that. I can't, like I literally, I have no idea. So hopefully they're freaking good because that's like my shiz, okay? Like five to $10 for everything, like every item, that's where I like to be. Because like why pay more if you're going to look good with five? Like, I don't know. Anyway, so that's just me. So this is the pink nudes. Oh, so freaking cute. Oh my God, so freaking cute for summer. I freaking think that is amazing, especially with this little lipstick. This was the nine or $10 one. The Pro Fusion Naturals. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So big, so awesome. And it comes with this brush, which it's actually soft whoa <gasps> cool okay that's actually a good brush and i had a, i had my suspicions that it was actually a good brush like it just looks good and i wanted to give profusion a chance because i had never really well i'd never tried them and i hadn't really like heard of them so that was another reason that i was like okay let me like get a few things a few different palettes so i can actually try I got a hairbrush for once in my life. It's like a $2 one. Who cares? I got this like random black shirt. Uh, it was $5, so I just got it for work. <laughs> it's soft and it's $5, so why not? And then I did get this from Burt's Bees. This is the Burt's Bees All Aglow Lip and Cheek Stick. It is like a tint, a cheek tint, um, with hydrating core made of coconut oil so i want to open this just so i can like kind of look at it and show you um they also had highlighters but they just didn't look that good honestly they looked like i, I maybe i should have given them a shot but um, i was more definitely more drawn to the blush colors they had a really good range of blush and highlight though and um <clears throat> it's just like the the Highlighters just look like skin tone, so I thought it would just be like your skin tone but shiny. And it's like, well, what if that's not my skin tone? I don't know. So, any hoodlies. I just wanted to show like the core of of coconut. Mm, they smell nice too. So that's really cool. I just thought this would be really nice for summer, and I don't actually have very many cream. Um, blushes and I'm really drawn to cream sticks for blush and I thought it was cute so really cute also would just look really good um, with that eyeshadow palette they got the pink one so really freaking cute okay sorry hopefully my vlogs get better and I don't upload them super late and I am going to be talking about my pregnancy because I'm pregnant and when you're pregnant it kind of takes over like a lot of your life because you're like sick or you need to eat or you need to do something or you got a doctor's appointment like it really takes up a lot of like your thoughts um and you're like tired all the time so um yeah so hopefully you don't get too freaking sick of that if you want like a true update let me grab my phone Ooh. Where's my phone? Oh, throws it across the room. I have the What to Expect app um, just to, you know, it's a lot to keep track of. So I'm 13 weeks and four days right now, and the baby is the size of a freaking lemon. How cute. Um, they already are sucking their thumb, and their vocal cords are on their way. So I'm pretty sure at this point the, like, sexual organs are done, and they're 
brain is done it needs to grow but it's like done forming and obviously the heartbeat the heart's there it's been there since um you first get a heartbeat at six weeks isn't that freaking crazy so yeah um yeah so that's really fun um i feel good i can feel my organs moving and it's like i'm getting shorter like short of breath very easily already which is kind of crazy um but it is what it is and yeah my nipples are chapped <laughs> like they're just like like dry and sore and they're awful so great <laughs> but other than that I, I get more excited every day I'm so excited and once we move and we start like putting the baby room together oh my god so yeah I'm gonna end the vlog here I will see you guys on in on Tuesday my next video so see you then bye